G'day guys. So for today's video, I am going to be going over my Team Associated DR10M. And what I intend to do is hopefully f uh, solve a few issues with this car. Not so much issues, um, but in the last video, I did a couple of passes and well, there's no other way of saying it. The last pass that I did, I crashed it. Fortunately, it wasn't a, a real big crash, but it was enough to force me to end the video prematurely. And what happened is I lost uh, one of the tires off the wheelie bar and I lost and it twisted the wheelie bar out of alignment and I didn't have the tools with me to fix it and set it properly. So what we're going to do in this video is we're going to give it a service, check the transmission, the shocks, and probably check the bearings as well. And then we'll hopefully do a few passes. So we'll head over to the workbench and we'll go from there. All right. So we have it on the jack stand. So as I mentioned earlier, I lost one of the, oh, if I can get the shell off it always seems to there we go as I mentioned I lost one of the tires off the wheelie bar so it was one of one of these and I got a replacement um, fortunately like I said uh, there wasn't really any damage that I can see um, however yeah, as as I give it a service, um, it will ho hopefully nothing turns up as I'm pulling things apart. So, um, so one of the what we're also going to be doing in this video is apart from giving it a service, is I'm I'm going to be testing some new features with, and by that I mean because in the last couple of months I have bought myself a new radio I bought myself a Futaba 10px radio and one of the neat features of that radio is the trans brake function so we're going to be giving that a test today or hopefully in this video um, I want to go over some of the, the steering the shocks the transmission I have reset the um, wheelie bar, so that should be good to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to disassemble parts off camera and go through with you the inspection and we'll go from there from each point. All right, so I have the transmission taken out. It's pretty uh, straightforward, just some screws and um, I'll check the diff in a moment off camera. I will uh, disassemble it, but um, everything seems uh, relatively good. I uh, could probably do with a bit of uh, grease on the gears. But other than that, there doesn't seem to be any damage. The uh, bearings feel good there's no grinding or any rough edges as I spin it so that's a plus so what I'm going to do now is uh, open the diff we'll inspect the uh, diff fluid and we'll go from there well on close inspection I mean apart from I don't know if it will come up on camera, but apart from a little discoloration of the diff fluid, but I can honestly say it is fine and it's full. Um, for those wanting to know, uh, I am I'm can't find the bottle. It's around here somewhere. Um, but I am using Corelli two million weight diff oil. So it'd be something that you'd put in like your big eight scale or one six scale. Um, basher trucks that uh, like your um, armor Creighton and Traxxas X Max that sort of thing so I've got 2 million weight oil in the diff and it's all good hasn't 
uh, like I said, just a little discoloration, so that's fine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the disc back together, put it back into the transmission case. I will then put some more grease around the gears and then reinstall it and we'll move on to the next part. Alrighty, so transmission is done. It is moving freely. Like I said, there's nothing binding. So what I intend to do now is I will go over the front and rear shocks. I will check. I might as well just drain the shock fluid and redo it again, just in case. Because um, I haven't really done anything with this car for a while. So it, it's really just been sitting and doing nothing. So I'm going to do the uh, rear shocks f first then the front shocks and just check everything uh, check the preloads make sure they're equal and yeah we'll go from there so I'll just pause and I'll drain the shocks and we'll just do a quick inspection and then we'll continue on all right so I have done uh, I have uh, emptied the rear shocks the oil the shock oil was clear which was good it hasn't it didn't have that yucky gray discoloration to it um, there seems to be no damage to the shocks um, after because I have had a few harsh hits so they're good uh, what I will do now is I'm going to refill re, uh, them. So what when I built this, I just used the kit oil that came with it. That so I haven't done anything with it. But what I'm going to do because I also have a, a DR10 that I have a bit of a setup on, and on the rear shocks I have TLR hundred weight oil to go on the rear and then what I will have is um, TLR 30 weight oil on the front shocks so what I'll do is I'll do the rear shocks put them on and then we'll inspect the front shocks and we'll continue from there all right the front shocks have been disassembled and drained of the shock fluid Everything seems good on both shocks. There's no binding. There's no, it doesn't appear to be any damage of any kind, which is good. So that is pretty much it for servicing. What I am going to do, so I'm going to, as I said a little earlier, I'm going to uh, fill the front shocks with 30 weight oil on the front. And then what I'll do after that is I'm going to go over the hub bearings to check them, make sure they're sweet, make sure there's nothing binding, make sure or I might also uh, loose, loosen and retighten the upper deck uh, chassis screws just to make sure that there's no tweak in it and make sure everything's nice and flat. So what I'm going to do is fill up the shocks, get them all, get them ready. Then I will do the uh, bearings, check them, and that should be it. So I'll be back in a moment. All right, so have all the shocks done. Transmission is done. I have also checked the hub bearings. What I do, what I like to do as well is uh, when it comes to um, lubrication and things like that, especially uh, with on-road related um, cars, I like to use uh, a dry PTFE spray. So this is the one I use here. Um, the reason why I like to use it, especially on things like the uh, CVDs here, because as you can see, unlike a lot of your off-road stuff these are exposed and even though it is on-road you do get a lot of dust 
Um, I find that the with a PTFE spray, it's less likely to attract dust and have dust get into things like the CVDs or the bearings, even though the bearings are shielded. Um, yeah, I, I just like to use a PTFE spray. Um, some people may disagree with me. That's fine. What works for you, you do you. Um, but like I said, I, I find this works well. Especially, um, I have found it works really well on my 8 scale buggies. Um, the CVDs on them are exposed. So, and with off-road there is way more dust obviously. So, yeah, I find that works really well. So, it's all done. So what I'm going to do now is through the magic of video editing, I am going to have batteries charged and tires are going to be cleaned and we're going to hopefully do some successful passes. So let's get let's get out there and give it a hit. Alrighty guys, we are at the usual testing area just blown the uh, surface down so I'm looking forward to giving this a, a test so like I said so we've done the uh, service done the transmission done the bearings done the shock oil so what I'm I'm not really looking to uh, lay down the fastest time possible um, I want to test some functions on this for this car as um, I have mentioned I have a new radio uh, it's the Futaba Tempe X I want to test out the trans brake function on it and um, yeah, just just give it a few passes see how we go so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up the camera and hopefully we'll have a few successful test hits. All right, so my, my goal here, first off, is to test the trans brake. So how it works is, so if I, if I hold this button in, as you can see, I'm giving it throttle input and nothing's happening. If I take my finger off, as you see it took off so what I want to do is uh, give it a trial I suppose what I should do too is make sure that it's tracking properly as well so I'll just give it a yeah, it's pulling to the left Unfortunately, it doesn't seem to matter how much I blow this down. I seem to have a hard time getting it really clean. Um, so, what I'm going to do is we'll give it a quick burn out. Alright, just clean the tyre. Now we'll just give it a burn out. do with the trans brake is I'm going to hold it and it's going to be about a half throttle hit so let's see how we go <laughs> All right. as you can see I have no prep on I have no prep on the uh, surface or on the tires but um, 
yeah, it wasn't exactly how I wanted it to take off. So what I might do is not use, because with the trans brake function, it really is, works better if you give it full throttle. So what I might do, another, give it a good burn out. Start, give it a small hit. Mm, okay. Wants to go to the left, uh, right, sorry. All right, so it might be a bit of a preload adjustment. So give me a moment guys and I'll be back. All right. So I've made some preload adjustment. Um, I've also dialed back in that bit of uh, left hand uh, trim. Uh, if you notice when I tested the trim, uh, it was veering off to, was it off to the right or to the left? I can't remember now, but if you remember it was, it wasn't steering straight. So what I'm going to do is we're going to give it another test, so just clean the rocks off. Alright. Alright, I'm not worrying about the GPS at the moment. So, let's see how we go. We'll just give it a half throttle hit. Oh, look at that. So what I did there is I gave it half throttle and then once it got up and rolling I gave it the full beans so what I'm going to do guys is I'll be back in a second and I will get my GPS and we'll see what kind of uh, time we can do and I'm going to give the trans brake function another go All right, so clean the tire off the back. Now I'll bring it into the burnout area. I'll set that drag, then give it a burnout. All right. So we put it on start. Trans brake is on. Half throttle. Wow, that was that was a good launch. Be interesting to see because as you can see how it's turning to the left, it would appear that it likes that to just to counteract the torque from the takeoff. All right, reread that. All right, so it wasn't real fast. It was only. Uh, 70 kilometers an hour and it was a three second pass however like as I'm I'm just getting used to this new radio and the trans brake function so I'm not really worried about setting the fastest time possible I'm just wanting to uh, get used to it so what I'm going to do is we'll clear that and I'll set it up again. All right, so drag, start. I'm going to do a full throttle hit without the trans brake and see what that's like. All right, so that was without trans brake. See how it's going to the left? That bit of left trim seems to help. Because uh, <laughs> I tell you, that was real sketchy there at the start. All right, read. 
Okay, so that was a 2.84 second pass. Now, I know some of you guys are going, boy, that's slow. Yeah, I know. I'll, I'm only doing this for the fun. So, 77 kilometers an hour. That's just a pinch under 50 miles per hour for those playing at home. But 2.84 seconds. Uh, acceleration, 1.2 G. Well, that... So... Now comes the real scary part because I'm about to do a trans brake full throttle hit and as you can see there's not a lot of margin for error. I've got gutters either side so if it starts to get really sketchy I'm going to pull like um, I'm going to stop but what I'm going to do is I've just done a couple of passes in a row I'm just going to let it cool down first before I give it another hit, and we'll be back. So while we are while I'm waiting for the uh, motor and ESC to cool down, um, I thought I'd show you what I had to do uh, with regards to the preload. So with the preload, it's got to do with the uh, spring collar here. So as you can see, the shock body is threaded. So what I've had to do is wind down this uh, shock collar and on this side here I've had to wind it up a couple of notches so as you can see it's a smaller gap here compared to this side and as you've seen in uh, those last two passes that I've done it's, ma it's made a considerable difference to the acceleration well not so much just the acceleration but the initial handling of it and its launch so, so far so good, knock on wood. Um, so what we're going to do is um, going to let it cool down for a few more minutes and get ready for the next pass. Alright guys, so this next pass, like I said, I'm, gonna, I'm quite nervous about because of the gutters, because I'm about to do... While I did a full throttle hit from the start on that last pass, it wasn't with trans brake. So now I'm going to be using the trans brake function to test out just to see how it goes. I, while I was waiting for it to cool down, I uh, blew down the surface again with my leaf blower. And yeah, so going to give it a burnout and then we're going to give it a hit so let's hope this works all right moment of truth guys trans brake on full throttle here we go I, yeah i kind of knew that was going to happen but that's what happens. All right. Let's see, start. Trans brake is on. Full throttle. Holy moly. <laughs> Damn. Ooh, that's it. Go through all the rocks, Gav. Wow. I'm not going to lie, guys. That was... For me, that was scary, because last time, when I did a video here last time, uh, this thing yeeted off into the gutter over there. And, yeah, so... I was quite nervous. So, let's check this out. Read. Okay, that was slower. However, uh, the G-force on takeoff was a bit higher. It, uh, the last one was 1.2 G. This is 1.24. I know it, 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 barely any difference. However, um, <laughs> speed 69. <laughs> Giggity. Um, yeah. So batteries probably getting a bit soft at the moment uh, in voltage so I have another battery 
we're going to let it cool down again and I'm going to test uh, do another test with another battery pack and we'll see how we go all right so I've just put a new battery in so um, for those wondering what battery pack I was using first of all I'm using a zombie uh, send it 6900 milliamp hour drag pack it's two cell um, claimed 300c discharge um, it's I like what I like about this battery like it's small and it slots right in um, to in between the uh, chassis plate rails there um, that's one thing I like about this battery pack uh, also its capacity um, but what I have now is the Trinity RevTech Eliminator battery pack as you can see it's <laughs> it's a big ass battery pack and it has to sit on top of the top deck rails here um, I've got a bit of high density foam as a uh, as a stopper to stop it from sliding back so uh, I've got as much weight as far forward as possible and I'm using XT90 connectors obviously because of the discharge this is a claimed 200c discharge as well on this battery pack so I'm gonna get it ready for another pass so let's see how this goes all right guys um i'm still a little bit nervous because i remember when i did the last video with this car um the last pass that i did where it crashed was with this trinity battery in it um i mean i don't know if i'm just psyching myself out or whatever but uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a half throttle pass without trans brake first just to see how it goes because it is a bigger battery, it is heavier even though it's slightly smaller in capacity um, so I'm not going to worry about um, timing the pass um, so yeah we're just going to give it a hit a, a casual hit just to see what how it goes so I'm just going to do a burnout and we'll give it a run all right so half throttle no trans brake let's see how we go all right so I can I think I know now where a lot of my issues are right where I've just stopped there there's a hump so as you can see it just went over it i think that is a lot of my woes right there um because you know when it's hitting it at speed there's that one there's that you know split second where the rear tires are unloaded and it just lights up and yeah so I'm going to do another pass without trans brake. Um, it'll be a full throttle pass without trans brake and it will be timed. All right. Start, full throttle, no trans brake, wait for the truck. I got a little, got a little scared. I scared myself actually. I overcorrected. But it's better to pull out of it than to crash. Alrighty. Let's see how we go. Start. Full throttle. No trans brake. And there's a car there. <laughs> yeah, I know. I saw you. All right. Be back in a sec guys all right guys so let's see what that was times are slower although um the last pass that i did was 1.24 g this was 1.7 g 
so an increase on oh, getting close to 2g acceleration so that was full throttle and I mean it was only 66 kilometers an hour that I mean as you saw there was a car coming so I had to pull out and uh, uh, avoid getting hit so what I'm, what I'm gonna do guys is I'm gonna stop it here and I'll be back well guys I'm gonna call the video here um, there were some successful passes and while they weren't quick it was really a test just to see how the car goes after a service and with the new radio with the trans brake function um, I'm thinking I'm going to have to find another place to do my no prep testing one being the surface area as you saw there was that hump and two as you could see there's traffic and the last thing I want is my car to get wiped out by a car or a truck so guys hope you enjoyed this video if you have any questions or if you have any tips don't hesitate to comment I will try my best to get back to you until then guys enjoy your hobby and cheers